Intel is just doing the, their thing now. This has got to be Pat because for a long time, like I said, there just wasn't this much energy. But one thing Intel hasn't done over the last couple of years is really push back on its critics the way maybe it would have in its earlier life. Um, and I don't know what that was exactly, but Intel nabbed the Mac to come be its spokesperson. And by the way, Apple has nabbed part of that advertising campaign and flipped it around. They're doing their thing. But in a what I call a sprint-like moment from Verizon, when they got the can you hear me guy to go from Verizon to Sprint, um, Intel grabbed Justin Long, who is not only known as the Mac, but also he's been in lots of different movies. And um, to come in, kind of do a whole punchy, fun, not really contentious, but competitive, but it definitely in a in a form that hasn't been Intel for a long time, kind of snapping back at the M1. And Pat, you, by the way, are the M1 uh, guy uh, and, and many other things. But if you've read Pat Forbes column, he's written some very in-depth pieces about M1 versus uh, x86 and what's going on in that ecosystem. I think you have like one of the most read pieces on the planet on that topic, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's a humble brag, but it doesn't count if I do it for you. Um, but in all seriousness, you know, I watched these ads, Pat, and I giggled and I giggled. Yeah. Like I watched, I still like the one where, and I showed these in a different cast I did last week, but where Justin Long has the kid and he's gaming at his PC and he's gaming and he's gaming and he looks over and there's a Mac station. And he goes, why is no one gaming over on the Mac? And then the gamer looks at him and goes, nobody games on a Mac. And then he goes, oh, I knew that. You know, and he did it like, and it just kind of made me smile. But, um, you know, if he's right or wrong, I just thought it was really clever, Pat. I mean, I, I, my kind of thought was it was clever. It was a clever play. It wasn't, you know, the most cutting edge thing ever, but just an interesting way to sort of say we're back, we're confident, and we're going to, we're not going to just take, uh, you know, this migration laying down. Yeah, so um, there are different audiences of people who have differing uh, views of caring on this. And you have the, the people who will only buy a Mac and would never even get near a Windows machine. And then there are people who have Windows machines that would never even even think of, of, of having a Mac. And then you have the people who are potentially switchers in the middle. Uh, this campaign was targeted at the potential switchers uh, and also uh, to give OEMs a little bit more confidence uh, out there, uh, which I think is good. You know, I, I love that, um, you know, the, the Apple crowd kind of came out and I think their biggest um, complaint out there was that um, Apple did some compositing on uh, the videos to make the Macs look better than, than they actually are. So, you know, I think that's if that's the extent of the complaints, uh, I think that's that's pretty weak, uh, kind of fishing for something, looking for something that's wrong. And listen, uh, it wasn't perfect, but I would say that um, most of it was 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 very true. I ha I have personally found uh, software configurations on the M1 that last just as long as Intel PCs uh, out there uh, on the, particularly the Evo ones. Uh, so. Uh, uh, check. Uh, you can get Windows with touchscreens. Uh, yes, uh, you can get um, Windows devices that have much more variations. You can get ones that are leather. You can get ones that are pleather. You can get plastic. You can, I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's all true. Uh, everything just works. Yes, every peripheral just works. Caveat, had, uh, Windows 10. <laughs> uh, there are devices that I found uh, like printers, uh, SSD uh, cards with fingerprint readers on them that did not work with the, the M1 Mac. All true. Games, the top AAA games, uh, most of them uh, do not work on, on a Mac. So uh, most all true. Now, uh, things that, that were kind of in the middle. And, you know, if you wanted to scrutinize it, uh, the dongle thing, yes. Uh, the Dell XPS 13, I need dongles for because it it's all USB-C uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, Max can play some AAA titles uh, and you can actually rig your display to have more than one external display uh, by, by uh, installing the DisplayLink software. Is it the same color depth? 
frequency? No. Is it supported by Apple? No. But you can rig it uh, up. So I, I just have to say that in the in the spirit spirit of open and honesty uh, and what we call accuracy that I know that our um, our audience uh, needs from us. But overall, I think they're doing, they're accomplishing what they need to accomplish. Uh, I think it gives other people uh, in Intel's ecosystem, partners, ISVs. And when I combine this uh, with what I thought was a freaking hilarious uh, commercial that uh, uh, Microsoft run, uh, it was good. Uh, final point, successful campaigns like this need to combine humor, snark, uh, and truth. And for the most part on this campaign, I'm seeing, I'm seeing all three. Could they screw it up? Uh, yes. But from what I've seen so far, uh, I think it's, I think it's very, uh, impactful to those audiences, uh, that it matters to. Yeah, absolutely. Look, and, and nobody doubts for a moment, the cleverness of Apple, nor the quality you know, if I do a kind of a car analogy, I look at, uh, you know, Apple's kind of like Tesla, you know, you got like each flavor and there's only a couple of options and people still love it and they buy it and they use it and they tout it and they, they are passionately connected to the brand. Um, you know, and if you, if you do like that car analogy, you could look at, uh, you know, the PCs are like more like a BMW. You got a lot of variants of the vehicles. You got lots of variants within the vehicles. You can have bigger, smaller. If you want an SUV, there's eight flavors of it. And then on top of the eight flavors, there's eight more trims of it. And, yeah. and so, and everyone's different, but in the end, the whole nabbing the Mac thing was, you know, what I really took away from it is under Pat, you know, we started and we'll kind of finish this under CEO, Pat Gelsinger. This is a company that is no longer going to, uh, be willing to just kind of sit idle when others are, are poking the bear. Um, they're, they've done a lot of good things. And I even mentioned this in my most recent market watch piece. Bob Swan did a lot of good things during his time there, but some of them didn't get noticed because they were pretty humble about it. And in a world where everybody's out in front all the time, beating their chest, touting their wares, it's a good time for Intel as well to, to participate. And I like this because it wasn't obtuse it wasn't offensive it wasn't you know over the top and it even played on some history um and i think it's going to work out well for the company but we just like the idm2 strategy are going to have to wait and see